Hey everybody, it's good to see you all again. This segment is just to kind of let you guys know what is going on in this episode. So in this episode, there is a situation um, towards the end or anywhere in this episode, there is a blank. That means there's no sound coming in the episode. And you might think that is your fault. That is my fault. You can blame me, say it was my fault because that is editing problem and that's because of recording and the recording platform that I use. If that happens to be in the in the episode, if that's in it, um, what you need to do is to just disregard it. Don't worry about it. Consider it like an ad break. Consider it like a break. Consider it like we're taking a five minute break. Consider it like that. So no freaking out. No need to worry. Make sure you guys enjoy the episode. Enjoy what's in it. And y'all have a good one. And enjoy this one. Really enjoy it and have fun. And please disregard the blanks in there because other than breaks. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. And thank you guys for understanding and for your cooperation. Oh, cool. Hey, y'all. Good to see you. I am back here today with Kazi in Extreme. Extreme insane musician. I met over Instagram, and I'm so glad to finally have you after a time of rescheduling. But I'm glad to have you. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, great to be here. Sweet, sweet. All right, to so all the newbies out there, why don't you give a little rundown about yourself? Uh, all right. So I'm basically I'm a rapper producer. I'm from the Bay Area. Uh, I've been working on music for about three to four years. I released my first mixtape back in 2019. I have a couple tapes, but they're pretty out of date. Um, and I just released a new single called Minimize, uh, and I got an album coming out very soon. Ah, uh, exciting. Congrats on your new project. That's exciting. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. All good. I, I love your music. Your music is insane. Thanks, I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. And I gotta thank my friend for referring me to you. Yeah, it's dope. Much appreciated. Yes, sir. All right, let's get everything started. To not waste time. All righty, so I want to know a little backstory. I want to know how did you journey with Music Star? A little backstory for us. Um, okay, so basically, I've, like, always been into music, but not, like, crazy, like, I was just pretty much, like, a normal guy, just, like, I, I like my, I like certain songs, um, I grew up on a lot of rap, because, like, my parents are pretty young, and, like, they were big into hip-hop in the 90s, so when I was growing up, um, they played a lot of stuff, like Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, like, that kind of era of rap, so, like, I always grew up listening to that stuff. And then once I got a bit older, once I was around, like, 13, 14, I got really into hip-hop. I can't even really say why or how. It's just something about it clicked for me. And just, like, over the past, like, five, six years, I've just been, like, diving into hip-hop, just trying to find, like, the dopest stuff I can find and just, like, yeah. And um, for making music, basically, I used to play the guitar and like that was really not fulfilling for me i wanted to write my own stuff so i started like looking into music theory and like basically making beats i didn't know what it was at the time i was just making music and i was like yo i want to do something over this i can't sing so i just practiced writing rhymes for like years and then started recording it oh that's amazing that's amazing and i'm glad you had a pretty good start to music and you already had experience from your family about um about music and and you familiarize yourself and rap that's pretty cool yeah definitely i think that was like a very important part on like the rap fan that i would be today yeah totally and i love that when musicians they got um they have people related to them that have listened to rap and so they can get familiarized with it and that makes them better artists too that's nice yep, yep. now i gotta go along with this too i gotta go with this what are your musical influences when it comes to you ah uh, um 
So I'm a pretty big underground head, not exclusively, but like a lot of my biggest like musical influences would be guys like Aesop Rock, JPEG Mafia, Earl Sweatshirt, um, but some of the bigger guys too. Uh, I'm still a big Eminem fan, even though I grew up on his stuff. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, uh, Run the Jewels, Logic. Um, there's a lot of rap that I listen to, but just off the top of my head, that's like some of my bigger influences. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. I appreciate that. Respect the respect the list. One of my favorites too. Hmm. Nice. Yes, sir. I appreciate that you have influences to help you in music. I appreciate that too. Yeah. No, I think that's very important for anyone that's just making music. Just finding like what type of music you think is dope. What do you like? What do you want to hear? And kind of like manifesting that yourself because like i feel like when everyone starts they're just a product of their influences it's very important to like use that influence without being like defined by it if that makes sense yeah totally i totally got you speaking of a songwriter myself i totally get you yeah and that's cool that's cool i respect you and just going on with everything else um what is your music process like? How does the music, how does the musical process begin? You know, production, songwriting, mixing, mastering. How does the whole thing begin to making a song? Uh, that's a good question. I I feel like I do things a bit uh, unconventional, I guess, because like I do the production and um the raps completely separately. I mean, I produce all my own music, but usually the way it goes about is that I'll make a beat. I'll usually just be like messing around with stuff until it starts sounding all right, building on that, making a beat. And then I'll write like a rap. I don't write raps to beats. I just rap the write them like this whenever. Um, and I'll kind of like tweak the bars that I wrote to work over beats that I've made and kind of like fuse these two parts together. And, uh, and always when I record a song, I make sure I memorize the verse. I don't like... Um, I don't, I don't like reading off of my phone because I just mess up more. So, like, I'll, I'll spend a few days, like, memorizing all the verse, and then I'll record it, and then mix and master. From there, it's pretty straightforward. Um, although, mixing and mastering takes way too long for my taste, but you got to do it. Yeah, totally. Totally, I got you. 100%. But I respect the musical process because it's working, because you're making dope uh, tracks. Thanks making dope music, so your process definitely works. How did you feel when people started to listen to your music? How did you feel? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I never really thought about it. Uh, when I first released my first tape, like, back in early 2019, uh, it was listened to, like, just mostly people who went to my school, my close friends, family, etc., um, but like I was getting like messages from people that I've like never met before being like, yo, this is dope. And I was like, really? <laughs> like I, I was kind of in disbelief because this all just started me as me just like doing something on my spare time. You know, I, I never really thought anyone would listen to it. So that was really interesting and a bit stressful because you, it kind of goes through your head like shit, people are listening to this now. Like, I, I got to put my best foot forward. But I think that's very important because that got me to a point where I'm, like, putting everything I got into my music, making sure it sounds good. Um, and, like, at this point, like, nothing feels better than when someone, like, I don't know just hits me up and is like, yo, this song's dope. Because it's, like, it's kind of like a justification. It's, like, keep doing what you're doing. Like, I have something here. Yeah, totally, totally. I got you. And I totally get that feeling because I think that's most people when they first release a project, that's how they feel. Yeah, definitely. Because, like, no, very few people I feel like go into this expecting like any crazy results. Like, because, like, there's a million musicians in the world and only like a handful of them like get any kind of attention. I think it's very important to just like have that kind of mindset at the start and then, um, using that to kind of like feel yourself to do better yeah totally totally and then you got some musicians that really don't have that really don't have that mindset and their music ends up being a failure and they 
you know, start to, you know, they start to lose themselves and they start to quit music. So yeah, if more people have that kind of mindset. They have the, um, what you have, they wouldn't ha- have to quit music. They wouldn't have to, you know, start making dope music. They wouldn't have to do that. And they wouldn't, and the world wouldn't have a decrease in musicians. They wouldn't have those. Yeah, definitely. And I think, um, I think it's, good to be prideful in your music like take pride in it but i i don't really believe in like having a crazy ego over your music because like at the end of the day like you're you're just a dude making music you know like it's not the most insane thing in the world like take pride in it but don't like let that pride turn you into an asshole basically because i i've met some like people about as big as me just like acting like they're the biggest pop stars in the world and that always kind of rubs me the wrong way yeah i totally get you 100 i've met so many so much more than you have so many mm-hmm. like that and you, and it sucks it sucks you know it sucks yeah definitely you you just gotta leave them alone because that's who they are. They took pride too far, and they become those. They become those. Yeah, you exactly. Gotta, you just gotta yeah, leave I just them. Don't... Yeah, and that's just like not a very healthy mindset. I feel like going into like any kind of passion. I totally, totally. I don't think you need to have uh, have mindset which you like, you gotta be like big and. You think you're the biggest person. I don't think so. Music is something that you enjoy, and making music is something that you enjoy. Exactly. That's the most important part of it all. Yes. Totally, totally. And that's something that musicians got to also, you know, realize that you're not just putting it out just for listens, or you're not just putting it out for, you know, money. You're, you're doing it because it's something you enjoy. Exactly. If you're if you're regretting making music, that's your doing. That means that something's wrong in your life. Yeah. Something's wrong. I mean, I can't speak of everybody else, but if I was making, you know, releasing recording music and if I was doing that, then I would, you know, be confident when I do it and enjoy the music that I make. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And and it, there's definitely the hurdle of, like, getting over having people listen to you because music is a very, like, deeply personal thing for a lot of people. And it can be hard to show people that. I mean, I'm still working on that. I still get a bit nervous showing, like, friends and family new songs and stuff. But, like, it's a very important thing I've gotten over very recently. Just, like, this is my passion. I'm going to show people it. If they don't like it, it's it's whatever. You know, it's I'm doing this because I want to do this. Yeah, totally, totally, and I respect that. No harm here. I respect you one percent on that. Thank you. Sweet, sweet insight. Going on with everything because I do not want to make this crazy for you. Um, God, I love saying it. Um, how would you exactly describe your music? Um, good question. I. Don't think I've ever actually verbalized that. Um, I don't know. It's it's really weird because like a lot of times for me, like I'm not going into any particular song with like a vision ahead of time. Like I'm just kind of just <laughs> I'm basically winging it a lot of the time and then um, refining it so it turns into something good. But um, I, I guess I describe my music as dark. That's what a lot of people have told me. Like I, I have like. Like my production style can be kind of dark, menacing, a bit um abrasive sometimes, uh, or really sad. I I can make really sad beats. Uh, and lyrically, like I I do tend to focus in on more like dark topics. I guess. Um, I'm really bad at making happy music, and that's something my um friends and family have all called me out on. But um, yeah, I guess that's the the best way, like thematically and like actual sound wise I, I i'd say i'm like very influenced by like kind of i guess the more alternative rap scene so people like um tyler brockhampton uh vince staples like those kind of people even though i listen to a lot of stuff besides that i'd say like production wise just kind of like loud bass distorted bass bass kind of like high energy drums and like dark chords and synths and stuff 
Uh, and lyrically, especially recently, I'd say I've been like very influenced by, um, I guess more like kind of underground lyricist guys. So more like Doom, Aesop, uh, LP, it's like kind of that. But like lyrically, I try to stay different. I try to be influenced by a lot of different things. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's my answer to that. Good, good, good. I like the. I like that you're you're very diverse and you just kind of, you know, just randomly, uh, go with it. And I like that you kind of are random whenever you're trying to pick a genre and you kind of diverse yourself. I mean that that's amazing. Yeah, because um, like. I feel like just like having a set goal in mind before even like making any part of a song is just kind of setting myself up for failure because like I already know I'm not going to make what I'm thinking in my head exactly and if I'm just trying to do that I'm going to just disappoint myself so I'm just like screw it I'm just going to see where this goes and then once I start having kind of like a structure for it I'm like okay let's make this into an actual song. Yeah, totally, totally. And because the and because you diverse yourself and you're not just, you know, one thing or one, you know, type of genre, people are gonna like you even more. Uh hopefully. Not hopefully, it it, it is. No one's gonna let, let me tell you this. Um artists that diverse themselves are more successful than ones that aren't. Just so you know. I mean, yeah. if someone is a trap artist and all they do is just put rap beats over, that starts to get boring over time. And trust me, it is going to get boring over time. And yeah, no definitely. Gonna, and and no one's going to um, want to listen to that forever. They're going to want to listen to something else. While diverse, uh, while diversity artists, is, which I call everything artists, is, they really. Um, they, they surprise you when they release. Yeah. Yeah, they I think that's a very them. important like aspect of it, just surprising people. Yeah, totally, totally. And when you surprise people, that shows success. I would agree with that, yeah. No, I, I definitely like go into every project or even every song just being like I, I want this to like surprise people a little bit. I don't I don't want people to be like, oh, it's just another Kazi song. Like I want them to be like, oh, this is different. Like, yeah, I, I can definitely get behind that sentiment. Yeah, totally, totally. And that's the expectation that rappers, pop artists, is people that are totally get. Like, oh no, here comes another blah 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 song. And yeah. And and you don't want the Yeah, definitely not. I mean I mean come on, like you he has those expectations. How are you gonna go as an artist? Exactly. How are you gonna grow as an artist? I mean you don't Yeah, because Growth is very important, and like it, it can be kind of frustrating seeing an artist you really like just do the same thing over and over again, even if that thing is good, because it's like, I've heard this already. Mm-hmm. It'll be like, I heard this already. Can we move to something else, please? It's time to move on. And that's what, yeah. that's what you're going to get. I mean, so as long as you are diverse in your music, you're pretty much covered. Yeah. And I mean, when you try to diversify, there's of course going to be misses. Like, they, you're going to try something new that just didn't work for you. And I think that can be kind of hard to get over. But, like, it, it's just something with, like, being a more, trying to be a more unique artist. Like, cause it, it is way more fulfilling when you do something new and it works than just, like, doing the same thing over again. Even if people are like, yeah, this is dope. Yeah, totally, totally. And if the first track didn't work out, you know, you just keep going. Um, you just keep going and just keep flowing and, and yeah. let it fuel you. Just let the fuel you. And if it didn't work the first time, you know, just let the, you know, motivate you to make sure the next one's better. Yeah. Next one be a, be, a, be successful. 
I mean, if more artists did that, they wouldn't be giving up or going on hiatus. Exactly. And nothing's more disappointing than an artist going on a five-year hiatus just to come back with an album that sounds just like their last. Yeah, that shows that you you just wasted time. And all you did was just sit there and just put out, you know, just lame shit that people just um, don't like and they think it's the same sound. And and that's, you know, this time went by, you could put your heart into something else besides that. Yeah. That's a shame, but that's what people are. Yep, it's just how people are sometimes. And all we can really do is just sit back and just let them be who they are. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... I mean, yeah. In my language. Totally, totally. Good fact, by the way. Good combo. Um, all right, going on with everything because I do not want this to be weird. Um, God, my brain is fried. I'm sorry. I've been on the road all day. Ah, you're good. Ah, but... no, you're doing good. Uh, thanks. I like that you're very chill. I can definitely tell by your voice. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. I mean, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to judge you. No, no, you're good. I, yeah, just uh, I'm pretty tired too. Like I woke up like a couple hours ago. Yeah, totally. And imagine me. I was up this. I was up this morning, and I had to do shopping, and I was basically out. Uh, yeah. Nah. All day and. If you're if if you're down here in Texas, then you would know how hot it is. Oh, I could imagine. I've never been, but I've like I've known people from Texas. It sounds very warm. Yeah, totally. And I wouldn't leave it because there's a lot of freedom you get in Texas. So I I'm I've fine. Heard, with just, yeah. I'm fine with just living here. It's just the heat's just insane. Yeah. It's all good. I just really. It's all good. I'm still here. I'm still enjoying your time with you. It's dope. Dope. Yep. Right. Now, before we get to hear what you got, what you got, um, do you have anything you'd like to ask me? Um, you know, every guest has a boring question. Um, you probably get this one a lot, but I do want to know, um, what, what are you into, like, music-wise? Like, like, what rap do you listen to? Um, it's a lot of music. It's a lot of music I listen to. Um, I listen to 80s music, because my, because hmm. my parents were born in the 80s, so, um, I listen to a lot of 80s. I listen to a lot of soul, R&B, funk. Um, let me see. I love pop music, and mm. I listen to oh, pop. Pop music. gets a bad rap. Like pop, pop music is great. Yeah, it's fantastic. I love it. Um, I of course listen to rap music. Um, I of course listen to the. I love rap music. What are and your I, favorite rappers? Um. I love Eminem. I love um, Juice World. I love Post Malone. I love Ty Dolla Sign. Um, I love Nicki Minaj. Um, Lauren Hill. I love. Um, I love Snoop Dogg. I love Tupac and Kanye West. I love. Of course, everyone loves Kanye. Um, but good taste. Yeah, I like all those artists too. Great, great. That's awesome. Good to be on uh, Con C. But yeah, you're actually the first person who uh, asked that, I believe. Oh, really? 
Well, yeah, the the question they like to ask me most actually is why did you start the podcast in the first place? That's what that's what they ask me. Or what does your name mean? Or um, one person even asks like how old you are, and I'm not answering that one. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, I thought that was a pretty pretty common question. Yeah, but it's good to listen to like a lot of different music because that's something I got to do more. Like. I listen to just so much rap. I'm trying to like dive into a bit more like other genres outside of like the mainstream stuff everyone knows. Yeah, totally, totally. I mean, I'm not gonna be, um, I'm not gonna be, you know, straight into rap. I mean, I mean, pe- uh, people know that I'm a singer, so I love pop music because that's a part of me and yeah all that all that music is a part of me that's why i listen to a lot of it and i can see why people listen to a lot of it most people uh listen to a variety you know because it's a part of them and the music i listen to the music you listen to it's a part of me you know uh the music you listen to is a part of you my bad i gotta fix that exactly exactly yeah, and since I'm a singer, pop music is a part of me. Doing this podcast and also being around rappers, you know, listening to rap is a part of me. The 80s soul and funk that's a part of my family, and that's part of us, so it's part of me. I mean, you get what I'm saying? You get all the... Yeah, no, that, that's a really good answer. Like, I, I really like that. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, all right, I, okay. Do you freestyle at all? Do you freestyle? Um, off the top, not really. Like, I, I, I've done, like, writtens here and there, because, like, like I said, I memorize all my verses, or at least the recent ones, but off the top, like, not gonna lie, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yep, yep. I mean, I freestyle with my friends and who are not rappers, and they still freestyle better than me. So, like, hmm, we should fix that. I can't tell about my face, but I have a thinking face. Mm. We should fix that. All right, we're going to improve your freestyling and a nice little game we're going to play before we get to your showcase. This is a game right. I love to play with rappers, um, because I love to see their freestyle. Now, the master on this podcast has been Psycho Puppet, who has been really great at freestyling. He's the king. If you don't know who he is, y'all are being late. Y'all uh, are behind me to check him out. But... Here's how the game works. All right, so I'm going to give you a word, and you got to freestyle uh, based on the word I gave you. All right. So I know you suck. Yeah, just, uh, just a heads up. Here. This is the After people hear this, they're going to be like, this dude's a rapper. But, like, I'll try my best. All righty. Your first word is hawk. Hawk. Shit. Okay. Um. All right. Am a bird is a hawk. I got a big saw. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, like, shoot, y'all just putting me on the spot like this. Okay. Um. Shoot. In the sky, there's a hawk, and then I go to the shop, I buy a new pair of socks, and then I get a new rod, hot rod like the whip. Ooh, I got a big dick. Ooh, I'm gonna take a shit. Ooh, I, this is freestyle shit. <laughs> um, you got another word, or, like... <laughs> funny, funny. Uh, life. Life. Okay. Okay. Um, are we gonna get existential on this? Um, a. What's the meaning of life? It was. Fuck. What's the meaning of life? Is it to get a wife or to end with a knife? I know that we live in strife, but then I. Fuck. I, I didn't pass the four bars hard. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jake, give me another word. <laughs> yeah, I told yeah. you, like, this is not, I was did not know that I was going to be doing this, but it, it's cool. It's fun. Sweet, sweet. Let's see. Hmm. Producer. Hmm? Producer. Producer. Um. Uh. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. Name's Kazi. I'm a rapper and producer, making these beats for these heroin users. Hey. All you rappers is losers. All you consumers better kill the fucking rumors, cause I'm out of these beat fuck yeah <laughs> all <laughs> right i think i'm i'm freestyled out man this is not going well oh no oh no you don't you're not giving up that easily all right how, how many of these we got okay fine we'll end it i'll, I'll give you one more all righty Let's see. Mm. Dog. Dog. Oh, we're going like kindergarten rhymes. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> um. Shoot. Shoot. Okay. Okay. Um. Hey, I got a ten-year-old dog coming out of the bog. My house is covered in frog. Ooh, I meant to say fog. Ooh, I am a god. Ooh, you. About to get bod eed like the letter E. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Um. I told you I'm not a freestyler. I'm a writer. I'll I'll always say that I I'm a writer. I think I can write some good verses, but off the top, um, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Now we're done. Now we're done. Now we're finished. Okay. Out of the hot seat, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. That's why I have those questions too, because sometimes I torture uh, people with freestyles, and now people can come back and they're like, hey, like, hey, I got a question for you, just to put me in the hot seat. So, do you have any more in mind before your big showcase? Um, wait, do I have any more what? Anything to ask me or dares before we end? Before not end, I meant showcase. Yeah, dares. Um, how about you give us a quick freestyle? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> well, well. Um, the thing is, is that I don't freestyle, and I have friends that can prove you. Um, that I do not freestyle. Um, I wrote a freestyle a while back last year, and it was terrible. It's called, it was something Forest-like, and it was terrible. I mean, I even hate it, and it's so terrible. Um, it's, it's a disaster, which is why I'm not going to show you, and you'll be able to view on another podcast episode later on. Shit, man. I, I don't know how bad it could be. I just rhymed dog with frog. Like, <laughs> Oh, oh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, but it's cool then. No, no dares, I guess. You really want me to do a verse then? Hmm? Just for me to do it in the hot seat then? Mm. Is that a yes, then? I just want to know. Sorry, you're just cutting out a bit. I'm, like, getting, like, every <sighs> other word. Okay, this thing's okay. Or I think you're good now. Cool, so to be, uh, to be fair, did you want a verse, then? Uh, if you want to. Okay, then that's a no, then. I'm not going <laughs> to. Yeah, it's cool. Gonna... I'm not. I'm not gonna do you dirty like you just did me. <laughs> Yay! That shows you're really nice. <laughs> that was fun though. I like it. Yeah, that that got a laugh out of me. <laughs> and now I get to see you like this now. Yep. Yep. I mean. 
I like this side of you. That's fun. Yeah. I'm excited. Uh, that, yeah, that's it's nice. And very terrible freestyling. Yep, I told you I, I was not underselling myself at all. After I used to be better, but just like as I started writing more, like my freestyle ability just went down. <laughs> yeah, but all good, all good. Besides, you'll get to do a lot better once you're once this comes up. Everybody, it's time. It's time for the annual showcase that everybody every recording artist does. It's Kali's turn to show us his talent. Ah, hopefully I can redeem myself a bit. <laughs> oh, you can. It will. Mm. Um, so, how does this work? Like, am I gonna play the beat? Am I doing this acapella? Like... Um, you could do any. Most people prefer to do uh, acapella, but if you can, if you can get a beat to play, I mean, you can do that too. Um. Okay. Cause like I'm really like not a tech guy. I don't know how to like get the beat playing and stuff. So I guess I'll just do some acapella. Cool. Sounds good. Um. Okay. The question is, what verse? Okay, I think I got it. I'll just I'll just wrap uh, the new single I just dropped. Because that's fresh on the mind. Um, so should I just go for it? Yeah, go for it. All right. Out of the gate, another chance to turn the page. Another day to chase the bag and get on stage. Back away, I don't need help to make a wage. And my shit is dope, you swear that I was pushing weight. I body the beat like I body the flow. I body you, buddy, I'm ready to go. Drink coffee and money and plenty of dro. Flipping the pole, you already know. I'm only myself when I'm really alone. And it's killing myself and it's killing my soul. And I'm sinking and dipping and fell in a hole. And I'm trying to stop, but I've been on a roll. But fuck that shit and fuck that bitch. Trying to call me out, oh yeah, that's rich, that's comedy gold. Boom is as old, hating on me because I'm breaking the mold. What is you doing your life in ruin nothing is moving what are you proving think for yourself but don't worry about me you want to be big but i don't believe rep the bay till the day i die check the date call the csi i don't deal with the bs by i don't feel can't even cry whoa it got morbid for a minute better aim again because i am never finished and i'm above it you love it you drop in the bucket i'm feeling mignon you a chicken mcnugget you flashy i'm rugged you puppet i'm budget and what did i say i'm fucking above it get out of my face and get out of the game losing the racing you're not at the fame dropping again with a terrible shame hearing your shit is unbearable pain maybe i'm I'm just projected on you. Never been a man of honor. Never stumble. Never falter. Never humble. Not a scholar. Whoa. It got morbid again. Been a lone wolf. I got no fucking friends. Okay. I got that. That, that was a verse. <laughs> cool. That was nice. That was nice. Thank you. It's a bit bit weird without the beat. I'm not used to that, but like, just went for it. Well, well if you want to do more like that, I do have a concert in mind. I do have a concert, so you can, you know, get comp, so you can get comfortable doing that with the beat. That'd be nice. Yeah. Um, in Texas. No, no, the virtual one. Oh, check my Instagram. Oh. Check my Instagram. Um, it's on my Instagram. It's on. It's oh, on my check stories. it out. I'll check it out. Sweet, yeah, it's on my Instagram, and I posted. I made a post about it. Oh, dope. Sweet, sweet. And did I miss anything? Is there anything else that um? That we need to talk about. Uh, is there anything I miss about you? Did I miss anything? Did you talk about did I miss anything? Uh, not particularly. I mean, this is my first real interview, so like, just pretty much, you, you went over everything that I I thought I'd go over. So like, nah. Okay, cool, cool. I just want to make sure we get everything from you for this time, in case you want to do this again. Yeah. But Kazi, this was this went better than I expected. I appreciate you coming by today and doing this. I know we scheduled for the first time, but because of my shit, you know. Yeah, no, that that was fine. Like I, I didn't really mind. And um, thanks for having me. 
Ian Napalm, you're such a fun, you're such a fun musician, and I can't wait for more adventures with you. I can't wait for more adventures from you, and I can't wait to have you back here one day. That'd be that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Sweet, sweet. Well, Kazi, I'm gonna give you this time to say any lastly things to fans out there before we close out. Any anything lastly? Um, if you have any new projects in the making, you may say those as well. Any lastly things before we end, you may go for it. All right. Um, I'm Kazi. Check out my stuff. Uh, I just dropped a song called Minimize. I just wrapped a verse from it. If you want to hear it with the beat and all that, check it out. Just look up Minimize Kazi. Uh, follow me on Instagram at kazi.music. Uh, and I got a new album called No Message. Uh, almost done. Coming out probably within the next uh, month or month or two. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Sweet, sweet. Thank you, Kazi. Everybody, make sure to check out Kazi down below in the links provided. Hit him up. Make sure you guys check out his music. It's incredible. It's amazing. Don't miss the opportunity. Make sure to check us out on the Wrap It Up podcast everywhere uh, on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Make sure to follow Instagram is where I'm most active. And again, I hope you guys had a great time today. I enjoyed it. Well, it most fun. Probably the best Staying out of today besides mm. me sitting in bed. But um, otherwise, um, I have to see Kazzy soon. This might not be the last time you'll see him. He might come back. Who knows? But other than that, have a great rest of y'all's day or night. And see you guys on the flip. Bye, everybody. See you guys soon.